Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I make my very simple three ingredient laundry soap. Um, I, I started doing it, I was a little skeptical at first. Um, I didn't know if it was going to clean our clothes. And if you guys don't know, Brent's a mechanic by trade. Um, his clothes get disgusting on a daily basis. So I was a little skeptical of homemade laundry detergent on whether it would actually clean our clothes. And but I was very interested in it and how much money we could save. I was a big Tide Pod person. I love the ease of it, but they're expensive. Um, Tide Pods, like I would get the 81 count, which is count, not loads. Um, but I would have to use three of those plus some Dawn dish soap for Brent's clothes to get them clean. Now, my clothes, uh, his underclothes, or towels, sheets, things like that, I could use two on a full load. If I used one, it wasn't getting clean. Um, so I went ahead and tried. I read a ton of Pinterest and all the little recipes that are out there, and there's a ton, and this is not the end all be all recipe. But I got to the point where there was three basic ingredients, and then there was a lot of other fluff stuff that people were adding, and I was really interested in that. Like, my clothes don't need to smell like the ocean breeze or April rain or any of those other things that are out there. I just didn't want them to smell like diesel or grease. So that, that was my criteria. I wanted them to be clean and I didn't want them to smell like diesel or grease. So I stripped it down and now I have a three ingredient laundry detergent that cost me, I use this container. It, uh, makes about 81 loads. So I figure 81 loads because Brent's clothes, I only use a half a cup. On everything else, it's about a quarter cup. So I can get 81 regular loads of clothes out of one container. And it costs me about 25 cents a load is what it averages. So Brent's half a cup is a little bit more per load. My um, quarter cup, is a little bit less per load, but it averages out. Our laundry is pretty consistent. It's just the two of us. So I know how many loads of laundry I do a week and how many loads are his and how many loads are everything else. So I figured, you know, doing the math and I'll show you guys all of that. It's 25 cents a load is about what we spend on laundry versus something like Tide where um, it probably averaged closer to 75 cents a load. So that's quite a bit of savings and it's worth it to me. Um, it takes me about 15 minutes to make this. It's not hard. I usually do it. This is why we're out here on the porch is this is where I usually do it. It makes a little bit of a mess. Now it is just soap. So it's not like it's, you know, going to destroy anything. It's just soap, but I do it outside. I can sweep off the porch. The little uh, dust isn't inside and I'm cleaning it up for weeks. So that's why we're out here sitting on the porch to make laundry to soap. But uh, so I'm gonna bring you in closer. I'm gonna try to do some like overhead so you can see um, how I mix this up. It's really simple. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I'll be back with you as soon as I get this all mixed up. So these are my three ingredients. I use Arm & Hammer uh, Super Washing Soda. I use Borax. And I use a bar soap. Most time it's a Zote uh, pink. I don't care what color it is. I think the only difference might be the smell. And even then, um, it's not enough for me to really care which one it is. So usually it's whatever one I can get in the best value. So those are the three ingredients. That's it. That's all it is. Per batch, it's one bar of soap. It's 13 cups of borax and 13 cups of the Arm & Hammer Super Washing Soda. That's it. So this is one bar, uh, shredded up, or grated, I should say, and I use my cheese grater. Uh, see how I mean that's a mess? I use my cheese grater. This is soap, guys. It washes off. I use my regular cheese grater. And if you guys aren't grating your own cheese at home, you're missing out. It tastes way better, and it saves a lot of money as well. So one bar of soap, 13 cups of one, 13 cups of the other, Mix it really well. That's my laundry soap. For Brent's clothes, I use a half a cup. For everything else, towels, sheets, 
it's a quarter cup. Occasionally that might be a half a cup if it's um, like maybe one of Oakley's blankets or something like that. Um, I use these six and a half liter containers that hold roughly 81 loads of laundry. So I'm gonna put y'all in a time lapse and actually mi mix up a batch here. So bear with me just a second. So that's it. That's pretty much how the process goes. The longest part of the whole thing is I cannot have borax that doesn't clump up real bad. <sighs> oh, please trying to get something. Friends messing with her. Probably a bunny rabbit. But um, the borax always seems to clump up on me, no matter how I store it in the box when I get it. Um, so that's usually the longest part. And it's just soap. I just break it up. It usually isn't that bad, but that's part. Of, <laughs> that's mostly where the mess comes from. Um, when you're breaking up those clumps, it like goes everywhere. Um, but all of it, it's dusty and everything else. So doing it outside just to me makes more sense. Um, but yeah, that's it. It's usually, it's pretty much, it's an equal ratio between the borax and the washing soda, the Arm & Hammer washing soda. And then per one six and a half liter container, it's one bar of that Zeet soap. So you can divide that or multiply it however you would like. Uh, it ends up being about 13 cups of one and 13 cups of the other. So that's it. That's all there is to it. And um, as far as HE machines, I don't see why this would be a problem with an HE machine. I don't have one, so I'm not 100% sure on that. But I know that when I wash my dishes um, with this, it does not sud. So, and I think that's the biggest concern with HE machines is that you don't want something that's gonna over sud the machine. So, but definitely look into that a little bit more. There's some people out there with some other recipes that add essential oils and they add the boosters and they add all the uh, OxyCleans and stuff like that. I don't need it. Um, I don't really care if my clothes smell like April rain, whatever that's supposed to smell like. I don't need any extra chemicals. I don't need any extra anything like that. I just want my clothes to be clean and not smelling like diesel or oil. So that's my criteria there. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Leave me a like, subscribe, comment, ring the bell, all the things. Hopefully you guys got something out of this. If you have any questions, let me know.